music, don't listen to music. I got here, bud. Sorry, we can't listen to music. It sucks, we can't Sorry, listen can't to music. music. I can. music in my head what are you doing right now <laughs> i'm trying to get some nuts off the bottom of this tangent and it's super comfortable under here i really like the position i'm in and i like all the room that i'm given so we're working on little stanchion nuts at the bottom there we got a bent stanchion that we're replacing we should probably put things like this in a safe place. <laughs> yes, I'm a very, I'm a very fast nut loser. Uh, parts mm. of all types. Okay. So you generally do. You can, you can't have a magnetic bowl because these shouldn't be magnetic. If they are, we'll throw them away. They should be completely unmagnetic. Okay. <laughs> and I had a nice little magnet, but I dropped it in the water. Do you want me to go up and hold the stanchion so it doesn't mm. fall in the water? No, that one's a bad one. We can just let that fall in the water. <laughs> well, this is much easier than I thought when I looked at it. And um, and that's <laughs> what always happens on boats. Always. And it's, it's always it's, easier. It's so comfortable too. I like I like this position basically yeah. that I'm in. I could do it's it. It's boat all yoga. Day. Yeah. There's nothing funny I can say about it at this point. <laughs> <laughs> it'll it'll get funnier as we go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> didn't need that, did you? Actually, we didn't. Okay. Do this and just crane your neck in that way. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. With all the swing, all three inches. So they're not gonna unscrew because it's not the way this works. There's not, oh, maybe if it's hard enough. There we go. Let's be able to tap them up, but I think we can just unscrew them if the, the bedding is hard enough. Just threading through the bedding. Well, it's soft, so it's, it feels like silicone. Yeah. It's really soft. Oh, I think that's yeah. what we put back in there. 5200 is really hard, I think. I think Matthew yeah. said go against that. And, ooh, it's built up dirt. Yeah, it's just bedding of that yeah. material. A little scrape to see, but I don't think it's, I mean, I think it was really nice and sturdy. Mm. Yeah. around in there, but I think it's nice. It's mostly lanolin, I think. But some silicone, some lanolin. Looks good. I'm gonna reuse it. Yay. Yeah, it's, it's Yay. uncompromised. It is a nice piece of metal. I think the rest will too. Yeah, it's a good idea to replace this. It's got, there's no bedding that's going to protect the holes, you know? Yeah. It's all crappy. But you don't think water got in there? I mean, I, not a significant amount, right? I don't think so. Yeah. Just kind of prodding around the holes. They feel yeah. really sturdy. I guess, you know, we could get something and kind of go in there and make sure. But the thing is, I don't I want to be careful about the water and stuff. Mostly yeah. using more acetone than water, probably. Yeah. Should have a glove on with acetone. So yeah. kids wear gloves with acetone. Do as I say, not as I do. Now that you're done, here's the orange glove. Ah, thank you. <laughs> Ow, my hand. 
Now it just dries out your hand, all the oils mm. and stuff. Mm, thank you. The good thing is that there's no dirt raining down over my electronics right now. <laughs> it's all going hopefully in the gutter. And I don't know if any of this is right um, as far as using this on the decking, but I figure if there's chunks of this, I'd rather have that off and have the decking, you know, lightly scraped under where it's going right. to be covered anyway. Right. I just want it to adhere. There's the underneath. Again, uh, let's use a razor. They protected it so well, they're going to make me get a razor out and cut a line through it. It's a shame. Do you want a scissors? I don't know if scissors would help. I know this glove's helping. <laughs> do you want me to do it? No, yeah, I you know. Do you want me to do oh, it, yeah. Zephyr? Do you want me to do it? That's a great question. Ask the guy. Do you want me to do it for you? Be holding the new stanchion. It's Gleams. delightful. It, it breaks my face. I just ordered the same one. Oh, nice. Yay. It's the angle, you know? Yeah. And this one's, I think, 90 degrees. That's what Matthew said. I thought for sure they're, you know, the other one's, I think, five degrees or something. So it's a really slim margin. So you don't, and you know, that throw this in and throw the angle of this in and, you know, what angle? I don't know. They say it's 90. Mm. See the other one? If you look down the line, it looks like it's so hard because it's kind of curved as well. But the other two, to me, look like they're bent out a little bit more than this one. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I don't well, know how to care happy. more he than I do. <laughs> he said they're straight. So we're gonna squeeze a bed of that. Okay. In between these two, I'll clean this one up a little so it sticks a bit better. And then we put the goo only on the top. You know. You don't yeah. do the bottom because you want to see the leak actually. You'd rather see the leak than it to go in your plywood. That's what I've been told anyway. It makes sense to me because you could have it soaking your plywood and just crapping it out. You don't even know it because it's in between the two pieces of fiberglass, you know? All right. Let's see. I think we'll just put all the screws that we can. I think the other ones will just kind of go right down the hole. Maybe screw them as you go, even if they're not screwing, because it'll kind of help distribute the goo in there. And by goo, I mean marine silicone. It's the same stuff. To make the pretty metal look bad for a little while, but um, I'm going to get some in there. painful when you're doing it, but it's pretty easy to take off yeah. the rag if you get it in the first few minutes. So, these are threaded, so I kind of do want them on the tight side. It, if they weren't threaded, you know, if you're doing it right, you probably would drill through them slightly to get rid of all the stuff in yeah. there. Um, but it felt like yeah. the same stuff to me, and I'm, I'm not going to do that. So this is the easy part because all I have to do is hold these two on the bottom of the bolt and with my other hand put this on while doing yoga. Okay. So, do you want me to hold something? I don't know if it'll work that way, mm. but there's good globs of that on the bottom of each of them so they'll probably stick up there nicely. We should probably actually remove them though so that it does leak if it needs to. Yeah, I was tempting to use the silicone to stick these up, but I don't want a seal there because we want it to leak. It's going to leak so that we know there's a problem. All right, so that's the order. 
the big one, the locking washer, and then the regular nut, and then the cap. So let's see if we can get it over here because no one wants to see the yoga the whole time. But maybe we kind of see what we're doing. That's such a bright light on there. But we're putting these on the bottom of the screws. They're not turning, that's good because, no. you know, you don't yeah. want them to turn. When it's wet, it might be all right. You know, I think it's fine. Like, we have to be put so much in there. But after it's dry, you want to go up and, and always hold it if you're going to take them off. Oh, this one's being a pain. That's all right, just working on my abs here. Oh, hi there. <laughs> Why do you want me to do this? Um, to show people that you're flexible. Oh, okay. Just let me know when I can stop. Okay, you can stop. Okay, thank you. Are we making progress? Oh, yes. <laughs> sweet, sweet progress. <laughs> well, the good thing is the last one is always the easiest. <laughs> and usually you'd be up there holding these screws but they are in they are tight at yeah. the very end when i go to really spin them um i think i'll have you hold them okay. and we'll do maybe a clockwise pattern or something from your perspective so we counter from mine so i don't think they're gonna move um and, and okay. again there's so much wetness that it won't matter but if okay. you want to hold on to this one okay first and then we'll go clockwise Okay. So I'll remember it's the very back near the hole. Okay. Are we done? Yeah, I think so. Okay. <laughs> Love it. You can put it on toast, um, all sorts of things. It makes a nice salve. Um, anyway, it's. Lana coat. <laughs> Don't do what I say. Or what I do. So I want to take these off someday. So I'm going to put this lanolin, Lana coat, whatever it is, on the edge uh, and the ends of the bolts. And so the nuts don't stick to the other metal. I just do it because I love the smell. Oh, and the taste. <laughs> Smells like a farm again. Mm. <laughs> hmm. Choose your third hand. Okay. <laughs> The pretzels are not in there. No. Zephyr? You be good. And that, my children, is how you fix a stanchion. Thank you and good night. Necesito lantern. Ah, gracias. Es muy importante. <laughs>